Ito, this is the second step in our pan preparation. After ng source sampling, we will do leaching. Ano ba yung leaching? When the pan soil is found to be acidic, it is normally leached. So, kung acidic yung ating soil, um, ang term natin dyan is leach yung ating soil. Now, kung sa ito, uh, kung sa itong buhaton, no? ano ang ating dapat gawin para mawala yung leach or yung acidity ng ating soil. So, in removing the leach soil, this is done by flushing and washing the pond bottom with water to leach away undesirable metallic compounds like aluminum, iron, and excess sulfur iron. So, yun ang pinaka-basic at madali lang na gawin. If a flush natin, iwa-wash natin, uh, lilinisan lang natin yung ating pan bottom ng fresh water para mawala yung mga uh, metallic na mga minerals like aluminum, iron, and excess sulfur ions. Na ito kasi, ito ang nakaka-affect ng rancidity na sa soil at nagbibigay ng malaking contribution para maging acidic yung ating soil. So, sa leaching, this is flushing and washing of the pan bottom by use of water. Okay. Next process is pan drying. So, tandaan natin yun ha. Yung first is or something. Second is leaching. Third is pan drying. <clears throat> sa pan drying naman, Bakit kailangan i-dry yung ating pan after sa uh, leaching? Okay? Or after doon, tama after sa leaching. So, the drying of the pan bottom is the most practical and effective method of eliminating undesirable species in the pan prior to the culture period. So, pinaka-practical. Ika-crack natin ang soil through uh, sun dry or sun drying. No? gagamit tayo ng excuse, <clears throat> the sunlight. Yun yung pinaka-practical and pinaka-effective na method para mawala yung mga uh, species, mga organism na hindi kaaya-aya or wala dapat doon sa ating mga fish pan. Like for example, yung mga itlog ng mga insects ng mga other fishes na hindi dapat natin makita doon kung tayo ay magkukulture na so we need to uh, pan dry or until the soil cracks yun yung term doon until the soil cracks hanggang sa mag crack yung soil big sabihin yung mga undesirable species is namatay na doon and then yung mga toxic gases is mag evaporate na yun siya during sa ating pan drying ayun drying harmful chemical substances especially sulfides and facilitating mineralization of organic matter. So, kung wala na yung mga chemical content doon, mga unwanted chemical substances, it, yung mga organic matter o yung mga natural food doon is tutubo na siya. No? At magkakaroon na ng maraming natural food later on kapag may tubig na. Okay. Okay, so during sa pan drying, ito yung mga activities na included o dapat natin ginagawa. I-repair yung dike and gates, reconditioning of the pan bottom trench, leveling, insulation of screens and substrates. Kasi meron tayong mga part talaga na hindi maiwasan, masisira yung ating mga dike, ating mga gate. During the pan drying, because matata, mat mahabang panahon ang ating ginugugol sa pan drying. No? So in a period of time, doon pwede nating i-take advantage na i-repair yung dikes, di ba? Kung may mga butas, tapalan natin yung mga gates kung may mga sira, kailangan nating ayusin. And then, <clears throat> sabi ba dyan, yung mga screens ng ating or yung mga nets ng ating fish pan, so maayos din yan natin. Okay? aside from that substrate or we also serve other purposes so ang pan drying yung kanyang other purposes is provide additional surface area for some benthic food organism so yung mga natural food like mga benthic food is nagpo-provide ito ang pan drying no? after the pan drying nagkakaroon na ng 
uh, benthic food organisms yung ating uh, area because mataas na or malapad na yung kanyang surface area. So it also provides shelter against direct sunlight and reduce mortality of shrimp juveniles from potato. So that is the purpose of pan dry. <clears throat> Next is tilling. Okay. <clears throat> Minimum lang ako ng water. So the next step is tilling. So after ng pan drying, ititil na natin yung lupa. So what is tilling? It pulverizes the it is a process that pulverizes the soil. No, iko cultivate or ipaplow yung ating bottom of the soil. Anong purpose? To improve the quality by exposing subsoil to the atmosphere, thereby speeding up the oxidation process and the release of nutrients that are locked in the soil. Kasi mayroong mga nutrients na hindi makalabas doon sa soil. Kasi wala pa siyang uh, hindi pa siya nabubungkal, no? Nagpapan nagpandry pero hindi pa siya totally na eradicate or nag-evaporate kasi nga uh, walang pulverization or walang tilling na nangyari. Kaya kailangan may tilling para yung mga nutrients na yon is mag-evaporate at um, ma-expose sa sunlight at mawawala eventually doon sa ating mga soil. So that's that's why we need to do tilling. Next is after tilling application of pesticide through basal application. When we say basal applic application, mag-apply tayo ng pesticide doon sa soil. Pag sinabing basal, that is soil application. E bakit kailangan pa tayo mag-apply ng pesticide? Kasi maraming mga pest and other na mga predators na present doon sa ating soil. Sabi dyan, competitors and predators um, and other na mga hayop. No? Present talaga yan dyan sa fish pan. Like mga ahas, mga ibon, and other na mga hayop. So we need to apply pesticides para mawala yung mga pest na nandyan sa ating mga fish pan. Okay. Sabi dito, some pest is nakaka-destroy sila ng mga dikes and it cause leakage, no? Which may allow the in entrance of undesirable species. Okay? <clears throat> so, let's proceed. Babasahin nyo na lang ito guys kasi nasa module naman ito. Ang akin lang dito is dapat ma-memorize or ma-familiarize nyo ang step-by-step -step process ng ating um, pan preparation. Okay. Next, next. So, these are example of uh, pesticide. These are organic pesticide. So, hindi tayo pwedeng gumamit ng inorganic or yung mga chemical-based pesticide. Lalo na yung tinatawag natin na sodium cyanide. No? That is, pinagbabawal talaga yon sa ating um, um, fish pond application of pesticides. So, ang pinaka-safe na organic na dapat natin gamitin na available in the market ngayon is yung mga dairy plant. Ito yun siya. So, meron din tayong tinatawag na saponin. No? These are examples of organic uh, pesticide. Calcium carbide, yun, yung mga lime, limestone din ito. Itong calcium carbide, pwede na natin i-apply uh, as pesticide doon sa ating soil. Tabaco dust, pwede rin natin gamitin yung tabaco dust. Yan. Ammonium sulfate. Ito, okay. So, this is a fertilizer na pwede rin natin gamitin as um, pesticide para sa ating mga tanim or sa ating mga, uh, sa ating lupa. 